What's up guys? So a lot of people have been asking me to do this video and I have finally decided to do it. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the most popular careers in the IT industry. So I have written some notes on my computer. So from time to time, I'll be looking at my computer so that I will not miss anything. And this list is not in any particular order. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And the first one is Network Administrator. And here you'll be required to keep network computer system working. In other words, you are, you'll be required to install, maintain, upgrade any software or hardware that is required for a computer network to operate. And this is a great career for someone with very sharp analytic skills, problems, problem solving skills, multitasking, and also organizational skills. And for you to become a network administrator, you will need at least a bachelor's degree in computer science or information technology. And here in South Africa, your salary range will be around 20,000 rands. And our next career in IT is software engineer, sometimes known as a software developer. And here you'll be responsible of designing, developing, maintaining, testing, and evaluating computer software. That is applications, mobile games, and computer programs. And for you to become a software engineer or a software developer, you need at least a bachelor's degree in software engineering, uh, computer science, or any other related uh, degree. And in South Africa, the range of your salary will be plus or minus 30,000. So this is a very good field. Moving on to the next one, the next IT career is computer engineer. This is a more broader field. And here you'll be responsible for designing computer systems, software and hardware applications. That is creating various types of hardware and software like routers, circuit boards, or computer programs, and also testing the, their designs to correct defects and overseeing computer networks. And like I said before, under computer engineers, there are also other departments, other jobs that you can get. For example, you can do development, you can do designing, you can do digital market, or you can become an IT manager. So if you become a computer engineer, there are also more fields that you can get yourself into. And it's also a well-paying job in here in South Africa. You will get around 30,000 or more, obviously, depending with your experience. And our next career is database administrator. And here, you will be ensuring that database are running efficiently. The role may include capacity planning, installation, configuration, database design, migration, performance monitoring, security, troubleshooting, as well as backup and data recovery. Remember, database will be dealing with storing data, so you will be required to do all that. And there are some skills that you need in a database administrator. You will be required to know SQL, but there are also additional languages like C, C Sharp, uh, C++ or Java that is also required. So you should be a good programmer for you to be a database administrator. And it pays off as well. In East Africa, you get a salary of plus or minus 20,000. And again, it all depends with the experience that you'll have before taking that job. And on number five, we have a more popular career, which is desktop support engineer. And here, you'll be required to maintain computer hardware and software systems. You'll be responsible for installing new programs, managing updates, and providing technical support to other computer users, usually non-technical staff. And for you to become a desktop support engineer, you will need at least a degree in computer engineering, computer science, or any technical discipline. And here in South Africa, the salary range is around 20,000 rand. On number six, we have network engineer. And this one will be planning, implementing, and overseeing the computer network that support voice, data, video, and also wireless network services. A network engineer often overlap with other roles such as computer network architects or security systems engineer and they work internally within an organization or as outside consultants. And here in South Africa, this job will give you a salary of around 25,000. On number seven, we have web developers and here you'll be required to create and maintain websites. And there are two fields under web development, which is front end a developer and back-end developer. So the front-end developer ensures that uh, website visitors can easily interact with the web page. In other words, you'll be required to design what the visitor of the website will be seeing. And then we also have the back-end developers. These ones, they create code 
and improve the server the server side applications in database so these are the guys that uh, does the back end parts of websites so what what the user will not be able to see so this is web developer in the south africa you get a salary of plus or minus thirty thousand and this is a very good field because it is very easy for you to start your own things if i a web developer it is easy for you to start your own company so when you are choosing a career path to follow in it this will be one of the good fields to go to okay. on number eight we have computer system analysts sometimes they are known as systems architects and here you'll be studying an organization's current computer system and procedures and you design solutions to help the organization operate more efficiently and effectively and in this field you should be prepared to work long hours and it's also a high stress job and for you to become a computer system analyst you will need at least a bachelor's degree in information systems or a bachelor's degree on in computer science or any other related uh, computer degree and this is a well-paying job in East Africa you can get a salary of around 40,000 rands. On number nine we have information security engineer and here you'll be responsible for planning and carrying out measures to protect an organization's computer system and networks. In other ways you'll be responsible for installing software such as firewalls to help to protect the computer system and for you to be able to become an information security engineer you also need a, a bachelor's degree in information security or cyber security or any other related fields and here in south africa you can get a salary of around twenty thousand. number 10 computer hardware engineer here you'll be responsible for researching designing developing and testing computer systems and components such as uh, processors circuit boards memory devices routers and all the other different computer components and for you to become a computer hardware engineer you will need a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and here in SA, you get a salary of around 25,000 rands, obviously, depending with your experience and also the company. On number 11, we have user experience designer. Sometimes it's written as UX designer. And this is one of those jobs that are less technical in the IT industry. Here you'll be responsible to make a product or service usable, enjoyable, and accessible. And these products are websites and applications. And in South Africa, you can get a salary of around 30,000 if you're a user experience designer. And our next career is software architect. A software architect is basically a computer programmer or a software developer who determines which processes and technologies the development team should use. And this guy will also troubleshoot coding problems and collaborate with other experts to produce high performance software systems and in south africa this is a well-paying job and you can get a salary of around fifty thousand rand and on number 13 we have systems engineer here you'll be focusing on how to design integrate and manage complex systems that is monitoring the performance of systems and continually assess all stages of operations to ensure that a problem is solved. And there are four types of systems, which is product systems, service system, enterprise systems, and systems of systems. And this is also a well-paying job, and you get about 30,000 runs here in SA for this job. And on number 14, we have computer network architects. Here you'll be responsible for designing and building data communication networks, including LANs and WANs. And uh, you'll be required to upgrade hardware such as routers and adapters and also software such as network drivers as needed to support computer networks. Here in South Africa, this job you can give you a salary of around 40,000 rand. Our next career is system administrator and here you'll be required to fix server problems, organize, install and support an organization's computer system. And for you to become a system administrator, you need to have at least a bachelor's degree in computer science or computer engineering or any other related fields. And with this job, you can get a salary of around 20,000 rand. For number 16, we have data engineer. Here you'll be responsible for preparing data for analytic or operational use. In other words, you'll be required to integrate, consolidate, cleanse data and also structure it for use in analytic applications. Here in South Africa, you can get a salary of plus or minus 
20,000 rand. On number 17, we have IT technician. And this is the most popular job under IT here in South Africa. And most vacancies on IT technician will require you to have your own vehicle and also a valid driver's license. And when you're an IT technician, you'll be responsible for installing, troubleshooting, and fixing the hardware and software in a computer system. And this is often considered an end-level position. And here in South Africa, this job doesn't really pay well. You can get a salary of around 12000 On number 18, we have cyber security engineers. Sometimes they are referred to as information security engineers. And here you'll be responsible for identifying threats and vulnerabilities in systems and softwares. Then develop and implement high-tech solutions to defense against hacking, malware, ransomware, inside threats, and all types of cybercrime. And in South Africa, you can get a salary of around 50000 On number 19, we have Big Data Engineer. And here you'll be responsible for designing, building, testing, maintaining complex data processing systems that work with large data sets. And you also need to know a combination of programming languages, database skills, and data processing tools in order to be successful in this career. And this is a well-paying job in South Africa. You can get a salary of around 40,000 rand. On number 20, we have data quality engineer. And here you'll be responsible for designing, developing, documenting, and performing data quality checks across all data assets. And the goal is to make data accessible so that an organization can use it to evaluate and optimize their performance. And again, this is a well-paying job and you can get a salary of around 30000 here in South Africa. And on number 21, we have the IT coordinator. And this is the bridge between the technical staff and the non-technical staff. You'll be communicating any issue or concern from either party to each other, especially when it comes to problems that the company's non-technical people experience. And you also be responsible for managing the whole team that provides customers and clients with services when they're experiencing technical difficulties. And this as well is a well-paying job. You can get a salary of around 20000 And last but not least, we have the cloud system engineer. So yeah, you'll be responsible for managing an organization's cloud-based systems and processes, and also setting up architectures using cloud providers, for example, AWS or Google Clouds. And you'll be responsible for migrating existing infrastructures to cloud-based systems, and also managing security and access of cloud-based uh, systems. And uh, ongoing operational administration, maintenance, in troubleshooting so this is a very broad field and it can also be divided into other fields as well but for this video we'll not go into those details and uh, this is also a well-paying job we are looking at all the careers that we have been looking at this is the one that pays a lot and in south africa you can get a salary of around seventy thousand rands and if you are skilled enough if you have a lot of experience you can actually go above 100,000. So this is it guys. These are the most popular careers in IT. And remember I said that uh, the list is endless, but you only look at the most popular ones. The IT industry is a very broad industry. It's got a lot of uh, departments. It has a lot of divisions. So you will not be able to cover all uh, the careers that are in the IT industry. But this was just a, a list of the most popular ones here in South Africa. So let me know in the comment section whether you're already in the IT industry or maybe you are deciding to go into the IT industry, just let me know in the comment section the path that you're going to choose. And if this was your first time coming to this channel, do the right thing, go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you'll be notified the moment we post a new video. Otherwise, see you on our next video.